Welcome to how to track PPP expenses with class tracking in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so, uh, you know, I've done a couple of videos on, on tracking PPP expenses in QuickBooks, and there's a couple of different ways. And uh, one person had a suggestion of using class tracking as an easy way to classify PPP loan expenses. And so what I want to do, I wanted to do this video to walk you through how exactly you're going to do that, especially if you're not familiar with class tracking. Okay, so class tracking, if you use it already and you have a number of classes set up in QuickBooks, generally this is not going to be the best way to do it. And the reason I say that is because if we're creating a new class for PPP loan expenses, uh, then it could mess up your uh, your current class tracking and, and how you're classifying transactions. So in general, I would only do this if you don't currently use class tracking. This can be an easy way uh, or somewhat easy way to keep track of PPP expenses. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do, you want to go up and you want to turn on class tracking. All right, so how you're going to do that, you're going to go to the edit drop down menu and choose preferences. And you're going to choose this accounting option and go over to company preferences and you're gonna see use class tracking for transactions. Okay, so if this is not checked, you wanna make sure this is checked and this will turn on class tracking. All right, so hit okay here. Now the next thing that you're gonna do is you've gotta set up your class. All right, so if I go to lists, you'll see class list. All right, so in this sample company file, this was already turned on and they have one for overhead. They have them for a couple things here that I made them inactive, but you want to set up a new class. All right, so you can right click here or you can go down here and hit class and hit new. Either way is gonna work fine. All right, so we're going to say PPP expense for our new class, all right? Now, you don't have to make this a subclass of anything. You're just gonna say PPP expense. All right, so okay. And you can call this whatever you want. You know, PPP loan expense, PPP money, whatever you wanna call it, but just something to signify that it is a PPP expense. Okay, now, so in general, if I didn't mention this before, a class is really a division of a business. It's a way to separate out you know, income, expense, things of that nature, so you can see how different parts of your business uh, are doing. Now, so if we're separating out the PPP expense, you know, in theory, you should be able to print off a profit and loss statement that will show this is all the money that we spent our PPP loan money on, okay? So here's how you're gonna classify transactions, all right? So let's say that we are going to enter a bill all right, and this is a bill for uh, health insurance, let's say. Let's say we're paying this to Blue Cross, and let's say that the company uh, covers the entire expense. All right, so we're gonna say that this bill is $1,500, due 12-15, 2023 in the sample file. Uh, we're gonna say that this is insurance, and if we don't have a health insurance here, we don't have one set up, I'm gonna leave it as insurance, but it, you of course can set up another account to say health insurance. Say insurance, $1,500. Now, here's where over here on the right, you're gonna specify the class, all right? So if we say this is a PPP expense, that's how we're gonna signify that. And we're gonna hit save and close, okay? So there's a bill. All right, so now let's say that you are simply writing a check, okay? So the same thing here, you're gonna enter all the details, you're gonna put the account, et cetera, and you're gonna specify the class. So the important thing here is that anytime you have a PPP expense, you are going to have to specify that it qualifies for this under this PPP expense, all right? So now where you can get, where this can get a little bit complicated is uh, primarily in payroll, all right? So utilities, rent, uh, the, the health insurance the company pays, the retirement plan contributions, those things, even interest expense uh, will be relatively simple to put here. Now the harder one is gonna be when you record payroll and it really depends on how you run payroll in QuickBooks. If you run payroll, uh, you know, through QuickBooks, it should be relatively easy because you can uh, put a class on each of the transactions, on each of the payroll transactions. 
So you can specify, okay, just state unemployment tax qualifies, but federal taxes don't qualify, the wages qualify, uh, et cetera. Now, if you use a payroll company and they are just taking a general amount out of the account, okay, and you're going in and you're just adding to the register these transactions. So let's say that you use ADP or Paychex or somebody like that, or some payroll processing company, you know, they're just going to take a direct uh, debit out of your account. So they're just going to take this money. It's going to be a lump sum for payroll. It's going to be a lump sum for payroll taxes. Okay. So when you do that, you are going to have to break it down between what qualifies and what doesn't. Okay. Now that really depends on how you're recording that in QuickBooks. Uh, but the important thing is you are going to have to go in and you're going to have to separate out which payroll items qualify for PPP, assign them to that class. All right. And then the other ones will not. So you'll have to do a split transaction where you've got maybe several line items down here saying, okay, this wage expense qualifies this, uh, you know, this payroll tax doesn't, uh, this payroll tax does, uh, health insurance that reduces and it's withheld from employees pay that would go, uh, be classified under PPP because it is reducing the company expense. Okay. So that, that area can get a little bit complicated, but you do have to pay attention to how you're recording that. All right. So let me show you over here. If I go to my profit and loss and what I want to do, I'm going to customize this and I'm going to display columns by class. All right. So when you're all said and done, all right, you'll see you have a PPP expense column. All right. And you'll see the health insurance right here. So in a perfect world, when you're done, you will have all of your PPP expenses classified in this column, and you should be able to just print off this report to say, okay, these were the expenses that I spent uh, with this PPP loan money. Okay. Now, and this can be in addition to the templates that I have and the other videos I have uh, to help you track this. Uh, but this is another way that you can track the PPP uh, expenses that you incur. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to answer those for you. Also, uh, head on over to the QuickBooks University. Got uh, a great set of training over there where I also answer your personal questions about QuickBooks. We'll talk to you soon.